Hello everyone, welcome to Little Bookworms Online. My name's Cass and today we are going to talk about poetry. So there are lots and lots and lots of different ways you can read or experience poetry. So I thought we would mention a couple today because maybe you think about poems as just being a bunch of things that rhyme put together. And there are lots and lots of great poems like that. In fact, a lot of the poems in this book, um, which is a poems for the very young, beautiful illustrations kind of book, a lot of the poems in this book do rhyme. But that is definitely not the only way that you can do poetry. And maybe you want to read a novel rather than poetry, but maybe you want your novel to be kind of poetic. And we've got lots and lots and lots of novels that are written in verse, which means that it's kind of like poems throughout the entire story, uh, throughout the entire book that tell a story, which is fantastic. And I've got some great recommendations that we're going to put in our book list for you there. I've got so many just sitting here. Uh, Too Many Friends is another one of those. Um, if you're looking for something a little bit more uh, kind of realistic fiction, um, this one is about Amira's journey um, and her life at a refu refugee camp. And as you can see, there's lots and lots of different kinds of poems and verse that make up a really, really great story. So I would definitely recommend reading those. If you're not in the mood for a story, another way you can experience poetry is just by reading an anthology. So we've got lots and lots of great books that have just poems and poems and poems. And one of my favorite things about poems is that you can flick through, choose where you want to go, start wherever you like, read one, read the next one, kind of like short stories in that way. Maybe you are really interested in how you can do poetry yourself and maybe you want to make use of, say, a rhyming and spelling dictionary if you really like poems that rhyme. Or maybe you want some inspiration for different types of poems like haikus. And we definitely also have some books and things about that. Or maybe you really like the idea of writing, reading and performing poetry. In which case, slam poetry is a fantastic way to go. We have this book that has some examples of slam poetry and different ways that you can perform and tips for how to kind of do your best work there. Um, but we also have things like anthologies by Julia Donaldson, who's written some fantastic books um, of poems to perform. So as you can see, there are so many different ways you could read poetry, and I really encourage you to check them out, especially if you haven't read any novels that are written in verse before, because they're a very different and fun experience. So for this week's activity, I thought, a great way to get you guys started in poetry would be to try some blackout poetry. So what that is, is you need a piece of paper with a lot of text on it. So maybe you're grabbing a page from a newspaper. Maybe you have an old book from the op shop that you're happy to take some pages out. Maybe it's an advertisement that popped up in your letterbox. And what you do is you grab a texter, ideally maybe a black texter, and black out all the words that you don't want until you've picked words from different parts of the page that create a kind of poem. And if you look this up online, you'll see lots of fantastic examples of this kind of thing. And sometimes people have even done really creative things with their drawings and their art to make different kind of shapes and things. So definitely have a go at that because it's a really good way to start. If you're not sure that you can think of something right off the top of your head, you can kind of take bits and pieces and make your own poem that way. So that's all we have for Little Bookworms this week. I will put the full book list with lots and lots of novels in verse, poetry anthologies and other things in on our website. So don't forget to check out the link below and do try out some blackout poetry at home. If you do try that and you want to show us, you can always post in the Little Bookworms Facebook event. We would love to see what you come up with. All right, everyone, have a great week. We will see you next time. Bye.